what is up, people? Uh, today, it's Caneo Valley Cars and Coffee in Woodland Hills, and no, not Woodland Hills, Thousand Oaks. I'm never going to say it right, no matter what. Uh, but the cars are amazing, despite my inability to locate where the hell I am. It doesn't really matter. There's tons of muscle cars here today. Uh, I thought I'd just walk you guys around. Uh, Sal, what's going on? First man in. We got some interesting people and doggies. There's Timmy. There's Tommy. Uh, Timmy and Tommy. <laughs> the uh, the T twins. The, the T twins. So Tommy, you were telling me that uh, earlier. I'm gonna say this right on camera here. That you grew up with Hot Wheels. I did grow up with Hot Wheels. Yeah, and you there was one car in particular that you loved so much more than the rest. Think of a red line. There was a an original series, and uh, it was uh, called the Silhouette, mm -hmm. but. I wasn't that good at reading, and I read it as Shilowetti. So, I, I, so, I still think that you must have eat, been eating some Italian pastry yeah. at the time. We, we had some good Shilowetti with uh, <laughs> with a little dusting of uh, powder on top. It was delicious. Delicious, yeah. That's why you don't have the car right now. That's right, because I ate it. Yes. Very delicious. We'll work on changing that. <laughs> All right. Car Show Safari. Car Show right here. Uh, Timmy, come on over here. Bring your friend. Yeah, because you, you, uh, you brought your special girl. guest today. Special guest. I not, say you brought not, your girlfriend. Yeah, yeah. Oh. He, he wouldn't appreciate that. Oh, yeah, he, he's a little thug. He's from Long Beach. He's uh, his mommy's on vacation on a cruise right now, sailing around. Hope the weather's nice. But I was given, you know, I'm glad we got this fireball. This really helps me because I was told not to let him walk around the parking lot. So I, I got in on film here. The dog is not walking. Yeah, ladies, around the, parking lot. Uh, the dog is being taken care of. And uh, it's good to see you, fireball. Thank you for being here. Thank you, man. Yeah. All right. Thank you, sir. Let's go look at some cars, people. Let's go check out what's going on. Uh, check out some of the uh, uh, beautiful. Uh, there's a lot of Mopar here today. Let's flip you guys around and show you guys what is showing up. I'm driving something interesting today as well. We're going to start in the very beginning, as we always do. You know, I'm kind of hot. I think I might have to strip a little bit later as we're walking. Malibu was freaking freezing when I woke up this morning. Very nice Corvette. Let's start out with that. Yep. Cool. Not much on this back thing. I think that we're uh, gonna head through. This is the caddy that I'm driving today. This is the uh, the Blackwing, the CT, CT5V Blackwing. I think it's something like 560 horse. I'm not really sure. All I know is it hauls ass and uh, takes names. Or kicks, at, and, uh, kicks, kicks names and hauls something. I don't know. Oh, the, it looks like the light's on. Let's see if I can turn that off. There we go. Let's see what else we got. MG 47. What's going on, Laura? What else we got? Uh, John Budmaska. What's going on? Brad's in the house. Of course, Brad and Meek. Top of the morning, Bob Amaral. Jerry's in. Shared to 805 Cruise Bay. Thank you. I appreciate that, Sal. Yeah, you know, this one, uh, this one is being built out right now, this GTO. It is in great shape. If the driver was around, I'd suggest that he started. This top was done back in the 90s. It still holds up really nice. He said he slept in here last night. Super comfortable. Motivating the neighborhood. One neighbor at a time. <laughs> this young man. <laughs> Howard, what's going on? Mr. Cosell himself, right here. Hello again, everyone. I'm Howard Cosell. And today, we have for you Cars and Cop from Thousand Oaks, California. Yeah. And we're going to switch that up for the next guy. I forget the other the other guy didn't do the chance. Come on. Bust it out. Here it is. It's time for Dodger Baseball. <laughs> so awesome. So awesome. Unbelievable. I wish I could do that. 
Uh, Got to get that guy into commercials, <laughs> TV and stuff. Amazing. Good stuff. Uh, this car is here every single time, and I can't stop looking at it. It's just ridiculously awesome. Look at that. Beautiful. So, uh, Canal Valley Cars and Coffee is just getting better and better every time. Let me get out of your way here. There's a lot of Mopar going on. This Plymouth is beautiful. Very nice. Great stuff. So what are you guys up to this weekend, uh, Mr. Olvis? Thanks for joining us. Greg, we need to talk uh, once again about Art Talk. We will. Sorry, juggling a lot of things this week. Here's some hot rods. Beautiful. It's nice on the weekend, man. I get to relax and go to the shows. Show you guys. Look at this stunning, stunning example of Mopar Beauty. This is a 500, I think. The previous ones. No, really? A smaller one. Yes. That's the cyclone. Look at that. That's just awesome. Now, as much as I love Mopar, I can't necessarily tell you guys exactly what model is each. This one is the Caliente, otherwise known as Hot. Hot, 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 hot. What's up, Kathy? Kathy Nelson, thanks for joining us today. Fireball Live, coming to you from Caneo Valley Cars and Coffee in Thousand Oaks. Yep. There's the official thumb for the day. What's up, Tim? How you doing, buddy? Good, man. How are you? What's new? Good. Uh, not much. Nothing. You're, you're live on camera, so you better come up with something. Oh, man, I'm just enjoying the day. Man. What does it take to, to manicure the beard like that? Uh, not much. Just a, a good brush. <laughs> good brush and a little trim once in a while. Yeah, not much. Yeah. Yours is looking oh, good, see? That's my, that's my car again. Some guy tried to reach in my car and steal something. That's a great day in uh, Thousand Oaks. It is. It's a great day in Thousand Oaks. Uh, there's nothing better than just hanging out, looking at some of these beautiful rides. What year is this car? It's a 50. 1950. Yeah. Uh, 1950. How long have you had it? Uh, I've only had it for about a year and a half, two years, but uh, I'm kind of making it my own, yeah. doing some interior work. I just had it painted. Nice. So, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a nice driving project. Fantastic. And where are you going to go? Uh, gonna where am I going to take it? Yeah. Uh, Vegas? Well, no, I probably won't go to Vegas. I might go to uh, Santa Maria next weekend. And what's that show? That's the um... that's the the old uh, Paso Robles show. Ah, uh, right. Yeah, right. so it's a lot of these lead sleds and whatnot. Awesome. So uh, you show. guys hit that show. Hang out with this dude. Let me look at the interior. I'll check it. Go ahead. Not finished yet. Okay. Oh, poor Bob. That's a tribute to my cousin Vinny. It's a tribute to your cousin Vinny. You actually have a cousin Vinny? I have Vinny? a cousin Vinny, yes. <laughs> Unfortunately, he's passed away, but when I was a little kid, I remember him sitting down. He had a, a really cool ride, and he was doing this thing with Bob the Big Boy. I said, what are you doing? He goes, watch. Cut the head off, put it up there, and then put it on his uh, wind wing. Yeah. So I said, nice. one of these days, I'm going to do that. So. We need to do that to a real one. That's it. <laughs> Sneak over to Bob's. Yeah, fine. And, and, yeah. Yeah, yeah, See put if anybody the head notices. Up and play. <laughs> All right, man. Great thanks. idea. Okay. Fireball, take care, buddy. Walk and check out this beautiful over here. That's a beast. The saber. The knife. Mm -hmm. So I hope you guys are enjoying the weekend. That should be. Today begins the first day of car show stuff that I'm doing. Look at this beautiful fury. Love this. 
tomorrow heading out to Hesperia to English Classics. Going to be grabbing Tommy, who you guys just saw, and uh, Greg Gill. And we're going to drive out to uh, to this car show and swap meet that's out there. Going to score me some Hot Wheels, baby. The only reason is because I can't buy all of these cars that are in this show right now. I could try. It might be tough. But you can get the Hot Wheels versions and have them all. Ooh, Studi, look at that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's Tommy's Mustang. Car Show Safari. Betsy. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Bill McCh McChesney, thanks for joining us today. We're watching Fireball Live from Canal Valley Cars and Coffee. If you have not been to the show, maybe it's because you live in Kathmandu or something. But if you're local, LA, you definitely gotta come out to uh, this show. Generally there's coffee and donuts, but it's a little bit late today, which you can tell everyone's kind of going through some withdrawal. We're gonna hit this last row on the way out. Just hit some of these initial rows. The flowers smell spectacular this morning. Malibu is uh, super uh, cold and rainy. Not too fun. As a side note, uh, come on over to our new Facebook group, which is Hollywood Movie Cars. Check that out. Come and join us. We'll be posting tons and tons of cars from film. A lot of cars that I've worked on, and then uh, not a builder, I'm a designer just to clarify. I don't build cars, many of you guys are much better at that than I am. But my forte is to design them. And I've gotten an opportunity, very grateful to be able to do many of those for the last 30 years. And that same guy who has that bike, he tried to bring it to a race so uh, you can join our group, which is brand new on Facebook, Hollywood Movie Cars. Come and hang out with us. What else we got? Lawrence, uh, what's going on, man? You went to the hospital. You okay, buddy? Let me know. Let me know if there's anything I can do to help you, man. I would take CTF then. Best of show, the backpack. Oh yeah. Right there. Oh. <laughs> Good stuff. Wow. Neato. You know, if I had a Pontiac Fiero, I'd uh, I'd paint a golf livery on it. Hell yeah, that takes balls right there. Could use some different wheels, but actually it works pretty well. Beautiful Woody there. There's Timmy McDougal's. Corvette right there. Yeah. So what are you guys uh, up to this weekend? Uh, are you hitting some shows? Are you spreading the love? Hanging out, enjoying yourself? It's a nice Jeep. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. So uh, tomorrow should be a fun show. I'm gonna head out, I'm going the wrong direction. There's no cars down there, let's go this way. Let's see what else we got. I haven't been out to Hesperia in a long time in the desert. Probably about a two-hour drive to get out there, which means the uh, Cadillac that I'm driving, I hit the gas station like three times on the way out there. It gets like 13 miles to the gallon. Very nice. Oh, so much. What do you guys think of the new Z? Steve Gelbin is here with his 
his dog in. Let's go say hi. He's driving, always driving that blue Porsche. That's a pretty rare color. According to Gilman, it took a long time to find this car. Oh, Henry hey, Gilman. that's right, Going guys. on, baby. Good morning. Look at you. You got your coffee in one hand. Leash in the other. Henry in the other. Yeah. What's new and exciting? Hey, man, I just got here. It's a beautiful day. It's my wife's birthday. Oh, I know. Happy I, I, I got I got the hall pass for the morning, yeah, at least. Does Dana know that you're here? Yes. Okay. She's got her nails done. I'm here, so... <laughs> How's everything going? Oh, we're good. We're taking all these guys on a tour, walking around. There's a lot of shit going on. Oh, my God. Look at all these incredible yep. cars. It's a good day. So uh, yeah. what else? Anything going on besides uh, Dana is how old exactly? Oh, I can't say. Otherwise, <laughs> I'll be in big trouble. I almost, I almost got you. I almost got you. <laughs> it may be early. I may be on my first cup of coffee, but I'm yeah, somewhat I'll come back sharp. again and see if I can sure. it. I'd yeah. have to have a couple drinks before I let that out. <laughs> All right, Gilman. Good all to right, see you, buddy. Be good. Right, we're going to check out some of these other guys that just rolled in over here. Got some new stuff. Some classics. We'll do this last row. I'll let you guys go because you got shit to do. You can also uh, join us, uh, join me on uh, Art Talk, which happens every weekday morning here on Facebook Live at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, helping you guys be creative and powerful resulting in some of these beautiful cars. That's our goal. Just to live a uh, good lifestyle. Enjoy our time here on the planet. Share what we love with others. Create abundance for ourselves. And if we're lucky, if we're lucky, we'll get to drive a Mercury Meteor. Yeah, look at that. Note to car companies, this is cool. It's called a Meteor. It's not called the UCX 300, blah, 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 whatever it's called. Cool cars have names. That's what we want. I do like the fact that the Cadillac is called a black wing. Did you bring Roger? Even if it's not a black wing, it's a carbon fiber wing. But it's still kind of dark, and I guess that makes sense. Oh, look at that. <laughs> it works. It works for a living. There's a trailer that goes with these, which would be interesting. Oh, to drag them in? Okay. Because this has no... They don't even have a glove compartment. No place to put your papers. You can't put your phone anywhere. One of my favorites. Big thanks to Firestone for allowing us to uh, do this in front of their parking lot, especially for making sure that the bathrooms are open. What's up, buddy? Fancy seeing you again. Come on over here and tell me about your car. Let's uh, let's flip this around so we can talk together. Well, the car was built by a guy in. Uh, hold on, give me your name first. Uh, my name is John McNamara. I've had the car for about four years and came out of Florida. Mm -hmm. The gentleman that had it before me uh, worked for uh, Chief Performance Engines in uh, Fort Lauderdale. They were motors for lots of power boats. Mm -hmm. And what's, so the, the, what's the car? 65 Oldsmobile 442. Nice. Motor has 469 horsepower, 529 foot-pounds of torque, and it's 442 cubic inches. <laughs> you got it down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's an amazing machine. Yeah, it is. And how long have you had it? I've only had it for four years. Mm -hmm. And uh, he had it for three years. It originally came out of Eastern Oregon. So it's rust-free. Everything yeah. is original. The motor, yeah. drivetrain. Yeah. Now, do you do you like to flip these cars, or do you have to restore them and flip them? Or no, you, I'm not a restorer. I've had a bunch of cars, but I never finished them. This yeah. is the only one I've got that's really worth keeping. Yeah. Otherwise, we're known as checkbook mechanics. Checkbook mechanics. I'm yeah. a garage mechanic. Yeah, right. I've been, I've been working on it, but I didn't do the uh, paint for the uh, engine work. Yeah. Beautiful. So what you know? What is it about about these cars that you love so much? Is it because you, you grew up with these things? That you... Yeah, my first car was a '57 Chevy uh, two-door hardtop, and I went to a '59 Impala with a tri-power. Then I had a '63 Impala with a 409, and then I was in the Navy for a while. So then I got out. And I had mostly uh, Japanese cars for a while. And in the early '90s, I got back into Oldsmobile. I bought a 1970 uh, W30. Nice. Uh, turned that. Then I had a 1970, just a regular 442. I've had a Mercury uh, 
Comet, uh, 66 yeah. Chevelle. It's like collecting Hot Wheels, but you got them all. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I've just been working my way through them, but I finally found one I love. I mean, yeah. this thing's a blast to drive. Yeah, yeah, it looks gorgeous. Let's uh, let's take a tour around and check it out. Sure. Flop this around so you guys can see this. Yeah. Stunning. You don't see a lot of these cruising the shows. Look at that Jet H design. That yeah. is awesome. Simple. It's simple, yeah. but it's effective. Yeah. Yeah, I don't need the fancy dash. This is the star of the show, this one. Yeah. Super cool. Well, he's balanced and blueprinted it to the nth degree. He uh, stroked the crank, so it now has 442 cubic inches to match the model. Wow. There's no other 442 I have. Yeah. This is a unique yeah. engine. That's a beauty. Thank you. You're a very no lucky man. Thank you, sir. Thank you, brother. We'll, we'll see, see you soon. You. Okay. Thank you. Here's Lucky. <laughs> What's up, Lucky? Look at that <laughs> face. Look at He's that like, oh, I don't know what that is. Like, oh, what I don't is know what that is. What is that thing? <laughs> okay. Yeah, hop along. Alright guys, that's what we got for today. Uh, Fireball Live from Caneo Valley Cars and Coffee. The donuts and the coffee has shown up. Uh, and uh, we're in Thousand Oaks. So uh, we're going to go and get some. All right, hope you guys are having a spectacular day. Once again, come and join us uh, at our new Facebook group, Hollywood Movie Cars. Just type that in to uh, Facebook. And, uh, or join us wherever you want. Wherever you want. Oh, God, there's some place to hold in. Check it out. Yep. Oh, come on. Come on, get around there. I want to leave you guys with something cool. There it is. It's a big freaking car. I'm trying to zoom back out. Let's see if I can uh, put this around. Here we go. That's a beauty. All right, my friends. Enjoy your weekend. And we'll see you. Uh, I'll probably do a live tomorrow from, uh, from Hesperia. Uh, if you guys are doing nothing. Probably in the morning sometime. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.